Anthony Zizzo. Born 1935. A.K.A. Little Tony, A.K.A. Tony Hats, A.K.A. Tony Z, standing at 4 feet 10 inches tall and weighing in at well over 250 pounds, Zizzo was once a top leader of former West Suburban mob boss Sam Carlisi's crew. Zizzo allegedly became a made member of the mob in 1983 and gained a reputation as an earner who charged headfirst into the lucrative but violent mob-controlled world of video poker machines. He was said to work closely with the ultraviolent Anthony Chiaramonti, who was slain in 2001, one of the last known Chicago mob murders. Chiaramonti, obnoxious, greedy and feared, was probably killed in a dispute over video poker revenues. In 1993, Zizzo was jailed with boss Sam Carlisi, Jimmy Marcello, Gil Valerio, Richard Gervasio, Brett O'Dell, Joe J. Bonavolent, and Tony Chiaramonti for an assortment of racketeering, extortion, loan sharking, and gambling charges. Zizzo was released from federal prison in October 2001 after serving a sentence for his 1993 conviction with Carlisi and six other reputed mobsters. Zizzo, who claimed to be a trucking company executive, was a key operative to one-time boss Sam Carlisi and was said to specialize in loan sharking and extortion. In 2006, Chicago police dubbed Zizzo the underboss of the outfit, although many crime watchers doubt that was true. Zizzo, then 71 years old, was last seen after leaving his condominium in suburban Westmont, Illinois on August 31, 2006. He said goodbye to his wife Susan and left to conduct some business, possibly a meeting in the Rush Street area on Chicago's near north side. He didn't expect to be long and left the house without his daily medication for kidney failure. When he didn't return home, his wife filed a report with the local police. His Jeep was abandoned at a Melrose Park restaurant on Division Street, but there were no signs of foul play. The restaurant owner said that although Zizzo was a regular, he had not been in that day. Zizzo's cell phone, equipped with a GPS tracking device, was still in the car. Susan Zizzo asked police to check the couple's vacation home in Lake Geneva, Illinois, but his highway toll pass had not been used, which told investigators that he had not gone any further than Melrose Park, Illinois.